You can create a switchback stair by drawing runs and selecting to have Revit create the landings automatically. On the Circulation panel of the Architecture tab, click Stair. On the Components panel, verify that Run is selected and that the Straight tool is selected. Use the Type Selector to choose the type of stair to create. In this case, select an assembled stair type. You can also change the stair type after it is created. On the Properties palette, select New Stairs Runs to display the Run Instance property. You can change the run width before creating the runs. For this egress stair, you want to align the runs to the interior walls of the stairwell. On the Options bar for Location Line, select Left and verify that Automatic Landing is selected. Click to specify the start of the first run. As you draw, the run boundary displays with the steps required to reach the target level or elevation. Click to specify the end of the run. Two numbers indicate that the first run includes risers 1 through 13. Click to specify the starting point and ending point for the second run. Guides and tooltips help you create the second run. The top elevation of the first run is the base elevation of the second run. Create the third run to complete the steps to reach the next level. In the 3D view, notice that landings connecting the runs are created automatically. Use standard editing tools such as Move to adjust the stair position. Use direct manipulation controls to adjust the steps. In the section view, select the lower run and drag the arrow control to rebalance the steps. Notice that the landing height adjusts automatically to maintain the overall stair height. You can also modify the landing height directly by selecting the landing and modifying the instance property. On the Tools panel, click Railing. You can select the railing type and choose whether to place the railing on the treads or the stringers. The railing displays when you finish the stair. Click Finish to complete the stair. Later, you could sketch a landing to connect the first floor stair to the second floor.